Rusky's Crypto Cave here. And excuse my voice, I'm still sick. But uh, my uh, Epic Control Boards came in. And so I'm going to install one. The first one I'm going to do is going to be in the S19J Pro Plus 120, which is on this breaker here. As you can see, it's currently pulling 54, 70-ish as far as watts goes. So that's the, that's the machine there that's currently running on low power mode. Uh, so I'm going to give that one a whirl first. And I'm going to unplug it and see how much power this one is actually using. So let's do the Red Panda method of disconnecting the Ethernet first. Give it a little bit, see if it starts to want to power down. I don't know, I've never done this before. I always just unplug them. Never had any issues when they were running. Right. Power's not doing anything, we're just unplugging the Ethernet. So I'm gonna just unplug the power. The 5470. Down to 3140. So roughly 2320 is about the watts it was pulling at 95 terahash. So as far as efficiency, I had to put that in the calculator to figure that out, but it seems like it's pretty efficient for 95 terahash at 2300 watts. So let's go inside and uh, I'm gonna swap the control boards around in this guy and then we'll be back when we power her up. All right, here is the Epic control board. Uh, I purchased it from Altair Tech. Received it in about three days or so. And here's the S19K Pro Plus that we're going to take apart. All right, got her back out in the shed. Plugged her back in. Power usage at 38. Was that 31 something before? So now time to go inside and... Uh, Hop in the control board. What I should have did, I should have brought my laptop out here, but I didn't. The power is starting to ramp up. Probably hang out and see where this goes. Well, that was quick. The fault light went out pretty quick. It takes a little longer than that. But I'm going to go inside, hop on a computer. And uh, we'll see what's going on. We're at 46.60 now, still ramping up. Kind of curious where this is going to end. Still climbing. I think we're going to be crossing the 6,000 watt threshold here shortly. And there it is. We're approaching the max of this breaker here. So I'm going to power down one of these GPUs and I just unplugged a, a uh, four GPUs so it can keep climbing. I'm going to shut down this other rig and see where we level out at before I get, it, get this thing tuned before I turn it back on again. I'm just going to shut down the 3080s. Thirty A's we're using probably around eleven hundred watts or so. But that reached about the peak of that breaker. So let's go in and see what we're working with on the laptop since we got some headroom here as far as power goes. Alrighty, we're in the computer now. Uh, I just got in the brains here to get my uh, uh, pull information so I could copy and paste it over into the um, dashboard of here. Get 
rid of all these guys. in the brains, get my wallet address. I'm gonna copy and paste this to here. And then hang on a second, I'm gonna be right back to, I have to get the see I named a worker on Nice Ash. All right, I named it S19J Pro 120. This is what I named it. We're gonna apply all. Go back to dashboard. I gotta pull up my Nashas account on my phone to see if this worker's connected. Cannot load rigs, cannot load rigs. There we go. Ah, stupid things gonna make me log in again. Getting logged in my phone. I'm hoping that power usage is wildly inaccurate. Stupid nice has an app. It seems like it makes you log in and create a pin number and allow face ID every single time I try to log into my phone. Let's go looking at the rigs. Looks like it's there. Now let's see how this works. Click around here. Yeah. Dashboard here, performance. Give this one a whirl. That's right around. I was at ninety five terahash or should be four. So we will have to go out in the shed and see what the power usage is at. And I have to check look back and check the video to see where we left off at. But the uh, hash rate looks like it is coming down. Voltage optimizer is in there, user target, blah, 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 blah. So let's go out and back out to the shed and check things out. Alrighty, back out in the shed. Sounds like the fangs are cranking, which I think I remember seeing in the settings in there that they were at 100%. So I'll probably flip it to auto fan. We're using right around like 5,060 watts or so on this breaker. Well, I believe the only other thing that's running on this breaker, I should know I had to look, I added more stuff to it, um, is going to be the Miyatsu rig. 
that's probably around the 1400 watts in the Octominer. And this breaker here. So this is in the Oxa right here. Okay, well, the Jazz Miner is on that one as well. That's the power cord for the 3080 rig. And the 3080s were on here as well. I believe there was something else on here too. Yeah, the Mini Doge is on that right here too. So here we got the Mini Doge on there. Um, the Jazz Miner's on that one. And the Oxa rig and the 38s were on there, which you might have to move some things around. Maybe I'll move the mini doze or even just turn that thing off. And it's probably not even profitable, but um, if I do have some room on the 120 outlet that I can move uh, some stuff over to and put maybe the jazz miner on the 120 and uh, so I can get the 38s turned back on. But I'll we'll mess around with things, see where the power usage is at, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, we're back inside, and I went into settings, then the performance, and I turned auto fan on, and the temperature set 60. I'm going to do 64. And the temps have been climbing. This voltage optimizer has been running. So I'm going to guess this will be like brains. It might take a, take a while to run to, until it fully optimizes everything. The power usage has gradually been coming down. The intake and exhaust temperatures have gradually been coming down. Uh, fan speed is still pretty much maxed out. But uh, we're gradually getting, getting lower. And there's all the chip performances and stuff. So I'm going to have to mess around with this more because it's the first Epic board I've ever had. So I don't know exactly how everything works. So I'll have to do some reading and playing around and see what I can figure out and then see if I can get this thing ashen more efficiently but in the meantime I'm going to figure out um, what I can move around the breakers to uh, free up some power to get those 3080s turned back on because it was right around the 5,000 watts or so um, and if you look in the hive this is the rig that's on that breaker using about 1431 this was around 1100 or so that's the one that's currently turned off so that would put if I turn that back on that will put that over 6,000 watts on that breaker which is a little higher than I want uh, so I think I'm gonna move probably the um, mini doge I'm gonna move that over to the 120 so I have to go down to the basement and find a regular NEMA 15 plug um, and get that plugged in there and free up, free up a little bit of power anyway on that uh, uh, the breaker so I'm going to do that and then we'll go back out and check the power usage and get those 3080s turned back on. All right, back out in the shed here. And as you can see, the power usage is dropping. So I guess as those chips are getting tuned, they're getting more and more efficient. Um, but I'm still going to move the mini doge. Um, I did find a, like a 14 gauge um, NEMA 15 plug in the basement. That is still hatching away. Fans are still cranking. So. It is like 62 degrees outside. Intake temperatures on here are 72. Exhaust side is at 102 and 96. 102 is up there, 96 is right there. The bottom two fans are off. Top two are at a speed of eight. So I'm gonna shut down the mini doge. And we'll see how much power that frees up. Probably 240, 250 watts or so, somewhere in that range. So, let me hook that back up and get that plugged into the 110 outlet, and I'll be right back. Alright, we got the mini doze plugged back into the 120. We're, uh, obviously, power's not going to change there, but that gives us enough headroom to power on the, uh, the 3080s. 
now. Looks like I can do this one-handed. Here. I don't remember which one of these guys. That was for the CPU. Gonna turn them on. Turn that on. Where the hell's the power uh, power switches over here? Should climb up to probably 58, 5900 once it is uh, up and mining. There we go, starting to climb up. And the 3080s are solo mining lithium. Pull my phone out and see like a long area. We 57, 5800. Get logged in the hive here on my phone. Yep, we are up and running. You can see. Probably blurry as all hell, but. I uh, want to set the chair. 57. So I'm thinking that may even drop a little bit more as that uh, J Pro fine tunes itself a little bit more. But as you see, we are pretty much maxed out on power. Even the 120 is probably getting close. Uh, it was a 20 amp 120 out. It says 2400 watts available. So, so you got 250. 240 with the two ice rivers and probably barely anything with the uh, um, what's it called network switch probably a couple hundred watts used from the, the fans that are going through the running so that's probably pretty close to max as well so probably won't be using any more power there so Gonna keep this shed rolling, gonna need some more power, so I might have to upgrade that uh, 100 amp sub panel to like a 150 or a 125 to get one more breaker out of here. But, yeah. For now, we're pretty much maxed out. Maybe just fiddle around fine tuning some of the ASICs and get the power usage down and get the efficiency up. But and hopefully, I'll be able to do that. That's gonna be the next one. That's the S19K Pro. The Epic board is in the house for that one as well. Uh, I'm going to play around with this one for a little bit first before I install it on that one. But I figured I'd uh, get it installed on the Pro Plus. Uh, because it's just been running at the 95 terahash whatever for so long. So I'm going to mess around with that and see how that goes. And then, uh, then we'll go move on to the, the K Pro. So, until the next one, catch you later.